if I go out and ask a, uh, a surgeon, what is the success rate of labral tear surgery repairs? And this is an actual screenshot from, and I've referenced it there at the bottom, from a, an orthopedic surgeon's website. And this is what they, apparently this is what they tell patients, is that the success rate for labral repair ranges from 85 to 95%. The goal is to achieve a shoulder with no pain for lifting, throwing, and overhead activity. Well, that sounds fantastic, right? Why wouldn't everybody want that? I mean, that's outstanding odds, right? Uh, and, and if that were the case, I would send probably every patient that I found a labral tear in straight to uh, this doctor because he is actually achieving levels and outcomes that are beyond anything published in the literature. Let's talk about what the literature says about the same repairs, okay? So um, on average, 54% of your, and this is, uh, we're getting into some lingo here, but uh, suffice it to say, these are interpreted MRI images, right, after a surgical repair. So you see that that's an MRI interpreted after uh, a slap repair. It's a type of tear. And it says, hey, only 54% of them were healed, while 46% as having a retorn slap tear. So wait a second, that's not 85, 95%, right? And I looked and I cannot, I can't even find a research paper of any quality that says that, that they can repair at 85, 95%. I just can't find it. I don't know. And, and of course, there's no reference on the website. So, you know, I, I don't understand how you get that and how you can say that when there's no support for that in the literature. So just kind of let you know. Um, and, and sometimes people are just speaking anecdotally, but if they have outcomes that good, they're going to be very famous and, and they should be known worldwide. And we should send every patient to that uh, facility and that clinic. And he should teach, teach that technique to every doctor he knows because he will save a lot of people a lot of trouble. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, that's not what we see in practice. So overall, this is an important fact. That's why I underlined it. Only 43% of the studies even had 100% agreement across interpretation. So they had different doctors interpreting healing versus non-healed, who retore and who didn't. And less than half the time, they even agreed on whether it was healed or not. So, so, so you see the challenge here. Uh, the reality, right, where you want to have confidence, the reality is more like, well, we don't know, right? Because this is what we get from the literature when they look closely at these things. They cannot even agree on what a healed post-surgical repair, you know, whether it's healed or not. And that's, 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 pretty, that's, that's pretty telling, I think.